Hello friends, welcome to the channel. This is our fifth video in Python projects and we are developing restaurant management system. So far, we have developed uh, show menu, order items, add item and even add rating as well. So the only one uh, small feature is left is uh, while ordering the items, we do not have an option to order multiple items. That means currently customer can order only one uh, item each like some let's say something like uh, uh, let me show that here so when i choose option two so i can give one two three four so i can get the total bill for each item so what about if i want uh, two chicken biryanis and uh, two kebabs what will happen so let me show that i mean by running it let's say i want uh, two chicken biryanis and let's say something like two kebabs and maybe five uh three other things okay so let's run this one so what is happening here yeah it is allowing to order multiple items of a same type but in the bill if you see right it is coming as individual one it doesn't look good when you have like uh, more items uh, in your cart right so let's modify this program uh, to show like uh, chicken biryani the quantity price and total amount for that particular item and finally we will show the total bill okay so let's uh, go to the editor we close this terminal and here it is okay so what we will do here see uh, let's uh, when you go to a restaurant so what is the procedure so the boy will come and maybe on his mobile phone or his notepad he will note down all the orders that we give to him right so similarly here also what we will do is we will save the orders in a uh, separate dictionary so that it will be easy in the further process okay so what i will do is i will take a empty dictionary called order items okay it will be empty initially and this is same okay i don't want to modify this one okay so uh, this uh, map function i don't want to modify it and even this uh, total bill amount will also be same and here i will make the changes in this for loop so when i find the item okay when i find the item instead of printing that okay instead of printing that what i will do is i will add that item into the dictionary okay i will add that item into the dictionary so let's do that if First of all, let's say something like if uh, first time, right? What I will do is directly order items of, okay, order item is equal to the entire item I will take. But apart from this, I will add one more key, okay, one more key uh, to this uh, order item dictionary that is the quantity because uh, when we have more than one quantity we need to increment that value okay so what i will do is i will introduce a new key here like uh, this quantity though since it is the first time it will be one okay but we will have to add a condition here so why let me i will explain that order item if order item in ordered items isn't it see when you go to a restaurant so what will happen so you say something like uh, you want five chicken biryanis and you give some other order and again if you say something like i want one more chicken biryani what will this uh, guy will do the home server is taking the order he will not add one more entry in the bottom okay what he will do is he will go and check okay there is an order already in the list so he will just update that value in his mobile phone right similarly we are doing that here so what we are doing is we are checking whether the order ID is already there in the ordered items. So the list that we have created, right, is there or not. If it is there, what I will do is, okay, so I will just increment the quantity by one. That's all, okay. And in the else condition, okay, if this is the else condition, that means the ordered item is not there in the dictionary that we have created, okay. And finally, we will, break uh, this for loop 
that's pretty much now we have this now let's come back and then print the values okay so we just need to print and here what i will do is uh, we have quantity now extra right so we will have to add that as well so slash quantity because i will display the quantity and even i will display the amount finally yeah this is cool okay now let's uh, take the for loop because uh, we have list of orders this time right so ordered items i will take and i will pull the name first from the given item ordered items of uh, item of name so similarly i will uh, pull the price as well so this is same as this one price and the quantity So quantity and finally amount we will calculate for that particular item. So what will be the amount? Amount will be the price multiplied with the quantity, right? Yeah, this is what it is. And finally, let's print this out on the screen. So I will just uh, remove this one. Here print, I will take F string again okay so i will display item itself so item is nothing but the id of that uh, item and here i next name name comes into picture and after that uh, price of that particular item and after that uh, we will have the quantity okay after that we will have the amount the actual amount of that one. okay let's run this one we have some problem here but yeah i will just rectify that before that let's run the program and see how it is working so let's show the menu first and i will go with the uh, option two for ordering item c i want uh, three chicken biryani so one comma one comma one okay and let's say we need two chicken kebabs and let's say something like uh, two ice creams and maybe add something else like uh, sweet lassies uh, three sweet lassies and maybe one soft drink 10 okay oh now if you see right we are able to see only one here okay so chicken biryani coming three times because we ordered three but other items are not uh, getting displayed here okay so why that let's see that okay so what is happening here so quantity yes this is there and here also we have and in the ordered items as well we are getting that okay but yeah let's uh, uh, fix the total amount uh, use case here because we are getting zero right so that's because we have a zero in the total bill and we are not updating it so let's do that here total bill is equal to the amount okay so now we should be getting the correct uh, uh, total amount for the entire order and let's run the program once again and then see so i'm clearing it and let's go to orders one comma one two comma two okay just assume that we want two items okay so we are getting only only the first item not getting the second one so what's happening here let me see that so here uh what we are doing we are adding let's print out this uh dictionary entire uh, ordered items dictionary let's see if we are getting the values or not first and restaurants option two one comma one two comma three okay okay that means i cannot end with uh, that also there is a problem small problem we can fix that as well so 
yeah yeah if you see the dictionary here okay the total ordered items dictionary we have only one item so it is not uh, saving the remaining two orders so let's see what is the problem so what we have done from the items we are taking items and then we are comparing that ordered item and now we are checking if the ordered item in the ordered items list if it is not there it is not there we are adding the item and quantity to one keep this break inside this condition not uh, here because this will break uh, the loop okay so that's because see uh if you don't find the item in the first go so it will just simply break so that's the reason we're not able to see the remaining orders okay so it's a silly mistake but anyhow no problem so let's run the program now once again and say it so two this time again and one one two two three four let's say i will order everything in the restaurant okay each one item see uh we got uh, two chicken biryanis and two chicken kebabs and one each other item and total bill is uh, 1700 rupees okay so that's cool right okay we have extra dictionary print there i will remove that yes yes just remove that as well and add one more separator at the bottom that will be nice like this one here yeah. yeah this is cool let's run the program one more time so show the menu it's working fine and uh, let's order the items and i will order again these things and let's go with the wedge platter this time like uh, two wedge platters and maybe three lassies and let's take uh, one wedge pillow and let's close it oh what happened again here oh see i made a mistake here so i cannot give this uh, empty thing let's run this two one comma one two comma two three comma four and another three let's stop it here okay see we're getting nicely the bill right okay so of course guys i mean we need to do some error handling that means if error user enters some incorrect input we need to handle that as well